All right, so we're going to do normal, uh, normal, any percent glitchless. So let's see. So this thing, this would be sort of a speed run, but I'm going to just explain what I'm doing, where we're going, and what's the plan. Um, so I haven't planned any of anything I'm about to say. So we're just going to literally wing it. So we're going to spawn in. I've set a save. And the save is in between key, uh, cave 6 and cave 5. So I'm going to start the timer. Okay. So what we're going to do first is we're going to loot the plane. We're going to loot the whole plane. So we're going to need all this stuff in here. It's going to eat everything as well. Like so. We've got our axe. Alright, first thing we're going to do, we're head out of here. And we're going to head left. And we're heading to the cave 5 climb entrance which is over here somewhere yeah there it is so you can look on the forest map on the website of work out exactly where I am but it's the K5 climb entrance so we're going to K5 because we need the rebreather probably turn my lighter on okay so I'm on obviously like I said I'm on normal so there is going to be enemies here somewhere. There they are. So I'm going to ignore these two because obviously it's slow to kill them and we want to head straight through here. They're right behind me but I'm just going to ignore them. So I'm very low. I'm actually going to take a drink. That's fine. We can walk. I'll save my soda because I'm not 100% sure where I should be using them because like I'm saying I haven't practiced this or done this through in a long time. Here's some guys here. We're going to ignore these and fall straight in here. Hopefully we don't die from full damage. Nice. So you can climb down the rope or you can fall and try and hug into these corners to obviously know all the fall damage. We're going to grab some skulls because why not? Same again. A little bit of fall damage and none at the bottom. Okay, a little bit more. That's fine. We can take some medicine. And the rebreather is just here. So nice and easy. So we've literally climbed down the cave, broke through the wall, dropped down the second hole and then we can just pick up some stuff. Alright, up we go. So we need the rebreather because we're required to do some swimming and we're on normal mode so obviously we will take damage, well we will, sorry, we will drown obviously over time. So we're going to climb back out of this cave. So there's no point taking a soda before you start climbing up rope because you will use all your stamina anyway so there's no point saving it. So we climb up again. Sorry, I just escaped twice to lock my um, mouse back into the screen. And then we need to dodge these ones with no... Hello, guys. Put some clothes on. Alright, and we can leave. We can block. Okay, just block, block, block. These guys won't walk into this next area, but then obviously we got the other two to deal with. So what you can do also in here to make it a bit safer is there's some coins somewhere. Here they are. We'll grab some coins. And we'll look for the rope, which is somewhere here, and I can't see it. Where's the rope? I can't see it. Can you guys stop for one second? I'm trying to find the rope. There it is. So there's a rope in this room. It's probably better to look up. Um, so I could just see the the white sky above, so I looked up and found it, which, yeah, that was slow, but it's fine. Cool, so we got part one of what we need to complete uh, to actually get past the um, the sinkhole. That's why we need the rebreather, because we got to swim through the sinkhole. Right, next stop. So we're out of K5. So we want to head this way. We should find the plane again. We're looking for the plane. There he is. I'm going to drink some soda. So what I will do also, I think this is probably a safe track for everyone. While you're walking through the forest, it's probably good just to spam E at the ground and hopefully grab some sticks. And I'm actually going to grab some... Well, no, not flares. I want arrows. One of these boxes has arrows. Nope. There you go. So I'm grabbing, I'm grabbing some arrows. I probably don't need this, this many, but there's a snack in there also, that's quite good. Alright. And we're just spamming E at the ground. Just as many sticks, rocks, whatever we can carry. Okay. 
cool. So we've left the plane. We're on the left side of the island. And we're by Goose, uh, Geese, Geese Lake at the moment. I can show you that actually to make it more obvious for you guys. Anyone who's following along. Drop this. So Geese Lake is just here. That's a pretty obvious landmark on the forest map. So we're on top of Geese Lake and we head this way. So we're heading out towards the coast, um, towards the shipping containers where you find a lot of circuit boards. It, this is the way we're going. So obviously, because we're on normal, um, I have to deal with stamina. So we're in a good spot here. I can see these three rocks lining up towards this hill. So I know that the cave entrance is just over this hill. He says confidently. Yeah, there it is. So it's these couple rocks. We're on this side of the island. You can see the shipping containers down there. And we just go into this cave right here. I laugh if this is the wrong cave. There's two caves very similar, but no, this is right. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So now we go in. We can walk straight down, grab some booze. So it's good to keep all your booze as well. We're going to look for some booze and some cloth later on, so if you do want to hit some um, suitcases to grab cloth, yeah, it's probably worth it. So we're going to be aiming for a certain strat for the final boss, but there's if it goes wrong, we're grabbing arrows for a backup, because we can make a bow and shoot him, hopefully. Nice. Or her. I'm going to jump past these guys. I'm going to soda because we have to break this gap. We're hoping they'll knock it open for me. Paul. Yeah, that's good. So you can use the um, cannibals to actually knock it open. Alright, here we go. So this is one of the parts where I could die and the recording probably stops here if I die. Alright, so we run in, grab this. And now we just need to pray we don't get hit by the arms as we climb up. And it seems like we're good. Nice. So this is one of the scariest parts. Um, uh, we want to take some medicine, drink some drink, and then we're going to run past these dudes, hopefully, and not get blocked. And we're looking good. Perfect. Vape Nation, let's go. Right. Out of this cave again, here we go. And then we're going to go to the sinkhole and we're not going to YOLO jump, but we're going to do the safe strat and hope we don't die. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. sticks there if you need them you can grab them and we out of there boys okay so sinkhole's next so we've got the key card we have the rebreather we can go sinkhole now that's the only two components we need to finish the game on uh, when we're not doing glitches we're on glitchless all right we're falling on rocks I'm gonna head this way So it's probably not worth me using a soda here because I will need them later to run away from cannibals and monsters and yeah, armsies. So we're going to save our stuff. So we're on the other side of Ge Geese Lake here. I'll just show you where we are. Here's Geese Lake. So we've just gone from out on top there, round here, and we're heading this direction. Oh, that's a good drop. See, there's cloth on those... Um, Effigy, so that's worth grabbing. I don't know how much cloth I have. I don't think I've collected a lot, to be honest. Alright, before I do the next bit, I'll show you what I've got in my items. So, like I said, you can go onto the forest map website. If you just Google the forest map, you can kind of work out where you are. It's useful. Okay. So, the normal strat I would do if I was doing a proper run, I would actually just YOLO jump off, off this spot here. Actually, I know we jump from down there and aim to land on the rock and null my full damage. But we're going to be trying to take it safe and go down here. But there's a high chance I might die, but we'll see. So I've got free cloth, I've got flares, which we won't use. I've got some snacks. I've got one soda left. That's really bad. Um, 
So we need the key card. I've got 30 arrows. Got plenty of sticks, so I could just craft a spear. Um, so what else can we make? We can make a bow, but we haven't got any rope yet. But anyway, yeah, we could make a rope if we needed to grab that rope at Ge Geese Lake, actually. But we're gonna go spear. Okay, here we go. So I'm actually gonna let's make a save. Why not? I'm gonna make a save here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is bless RNG. This ain't looking good. Okay, well, well we live for now. So I have to play it even slower now. There's a nice easy drop down to there. So this is the angle I'm kind of aiming at because I want to get to that rock there. I'm actually going to try even though my health's not full yet. Yeah, that's fine. Cool, so we're halfway down. Now we can take this running path and then we want to aim for that rock down there. Try not to take full damage. I'm going to aim for this rock. Nice. Nice. What the hell? Alright. Drop here. Might die. Nope, we're good. Got any meds left? Alright, we're medless. Who needs meds, right? Okay. I hear him running at me, so I'm going to jump up here. Alright, so we're good now. So we've made it down to the sinkhole floor, which was not clean, but we're here. What we're going to do is head straight into the middle and go swimming. Alright, so down we go. I've got a good feeling that um, the final boss is going to give me a good hiding. Okay, so we're going to swim through here. So the swim is actually just far enough that if you didn't have the rebreather, you do drown. Which is a bit annoying. So you have to collect the rebreather. Um, so we're going to head straight up here. And then we've got a few cannibals to dodge. Which shouldn't be too bad. But the only problem is my health. If they do actually hit me. I'm probably two hits from death, which is a little bit annoying. But we'll see. We'll see how we get on. We got one soda. That's the downside as well. So we're probably... I'm going to save stamina before we do the first run and try and use my soda for the second part. Okay, I'm just going to walk. Okay, here we go then. Here they are. So I'm going to sneak for a bit. You could obviously YOLO run if you had extra soda. You could probably YOLO run. So I'm going to sneak as close as I can, then run. Because they are, they are going to chase me now. If I go this way, it would be a good idea. He got very close then. But not close enough. Right. Um, over we go, and they won't follow us from here. Okay, so I actually got no health, so if you have health here, please don't use the rope. You really don't need to. But I am, because I don't want to take any more damage. So we're going to, once into this area, we're going to climb up this, up this wall. Literally just walk and jump. And then from here, we need just a good, good run and jump to make it across here. And then this will mean you don't need to grab the climbing axe. The jumps, you know, it might take you a couple tries. It's just timing your sprint and your jump at the right sort of time. I've done it quite a few times, so I have a good knack for it now. But just try a couple times. It's fairly simple. Just spam jump when you're about to hit the other side of the wall because you sometimes can, like, double jump as you get there, if that makes sense. Cool. All right, here we go. Last last section where death... Wow, well, actually, death pretty likely in this area as well but we'll see so i like to hug left here climb up on this wall we can eat this eat that and we're going for a big run ok 
Okay, what I like to do here is climb on this wall and just keep hugging this side of this wall. So I'm sprinting and just spamming space bar as I climb up this wall. And then from here it's the long run, which is just past this tent, which you can save at if you want to. And they will stop following me here. See, they, they can't come in here. And we've made it. So we've done Sinkhole Cave and now we're about to hit the vault door. And off we go. Okay. Not too much to say about the um, the lab section really until we get to the um, to Megan. Uh, there's a few bits and bobs I will pick up. Obviously, if you're doing a speed run of this, you will ignore most of the stuff I'm going to grab. I don't think there's anything down here. I'm just going to remind myself. Oh, there's orange paint. Why not? It would be orange. Okay, what I do like to do here though is is worth to run straight ahead even as a dead end to grab the bones. So we grab the bones and the meds, which I do need. So we grab two meds and the bones make it really good wait, that's not right. To craft a upgraded sphere. So this is the weapon I'm gonna be using to fight the final boss. Let's do that. Like so. So the upgraded sphere is the easiest weapon to craft and it does the most damage I think. I think there's other weapons that do more damage but it takes longer to get them if that makes sense. So it's worth just getting the upgraded spear as far as I remember. So or you can go bow. Bow's not too bad either but obviously it takes a little bit longer because you're like strafing around and shooting. So I'm hoping to use this successfully the upgraded spear and then probably attach some molotovs to the end of it as well. Or more likely, she's going to one-shot me, but we'll see. Okay, cool. In this area, if you're not going for speed run, you just want to beat the game, you can drink some water. And earlier, I picked up some coins. The coins were so I can use this. There you go. I only grab two coins. Oh, there's some here as well. Grab some booze. Always good to grab the booze. All right, cool. Got a soda. So sodas are good because obviously we're going to need our stamina later for fighting the final boss. So we can keep chugging sodas to keep our um, stamina up. Um, not too much to say, I don't think, in the lab section. I'm just going to walk through here. In this room, I will grab some extra cloth. There's cloth on the floor. Is there any more cloth? I know there's two, definitely. Is that up here on the left somewhere? Oh, there's there. So there's one there. Is there any more? There's one there. Three. Okay. I'm just going to walk for a second. So we got get past some babies and an armsy. So the babies aren't too bad. I'm just going to go straight past. Like so. And I'm going to walk for a second. And the armsy is around this corner. Pretty easy to get past. So I'm going to run at him and then jump to the side. And he can follow us after this door. So he's not even that bothered to be honest. Cool. Um, we're nearly there. We're ready to the cutscene. There's one more cannibal coming up ahead. We can just fall down here. We can turn, do a 180 and head straight in. I'll drink some water, why not? Be really good if you're drinking from them. Increased your, um, sort of your stamina meter, but it doesn't, just, you know, coffee doesn't either. So we're going to head straight through. Is there anything to pick up in here? No. There's a nice chair there. Alright, so... Oh, that's the cannibal back there. Sorry, I missed him. Oh, babies. Yeah, I've got the babies are in here as well. So we just aim past these. Hopefully not get hit. Can you get up? Thanks. Okay. Here we are. Timmy's room. So we're going to do the cutscene now. So a bit of a long wait now and loud music, but...
Don't know where I got the toy from. Why are my arms red? Um, so I used the orange paint on myself. Yeah, it does. Yeah, he's painted himself orange to be like the orange man. I think it just um, makes you less detectable by the cannibals, I think? Or something like that? Is that right? It's something like that. So it's actually not, it's not bad grabbing the orange paint. Anyway. Alright, cool. We got past that cutscene. So, rip to me. We're going to avenge to me. Actually, it's not Megan's fault either, really. But anyway, we're going to put her out of misery. Okay, next room. A few cannibals, but I'm going to just ignore them. So, the only thing I'm going to do is going to go walk straight past these guys and head into this room here, the medical room. I'm just going to grab everything. Alright, there's some extra meds in here if I need them. Go back. Alright. And we could make a safe here as well if we wanted to, but, you know, we're just, I'll probably... I'm just going to go for it, I think. If you die anyway, you can you spawn back in at the other side. Uh, you spawn back out of that bed, I think, actually, thinking about it now. Okay, so there's a few ways you could do this. Best thing to do... I'm going to try and stun Garen a locked in an animation where we can keep hitting her with the spear but you can also use the um, bow and arrow to keep your distance and shoot her with fire arrows and I'm probably going to start with a spear strat which is going to try and lock her in an animation and then I will move on to lob the spear with molotovs on it and then burn her like that hopefully the only the downside for doing the spear lobbing strat is if you miss the spear and it goes somewhere you can't pick it back up, you have to make another standard spear and use that instead. So more likely this is probably going to go, I'm going to get absolutely one shot. Here we go then. So I'm going to stay close to her, be slightly to the right, and keep hitting her straight in and out of the spear, and hopefully she won't. She only do the close attack, but we'll see. Yeah, that, that's gone wrong already. So we're going to go to strat two. So what I'm going to do. That didn't take long, did it? I only got two boozers. That's a bit annoying. Um, okay, here we go. She might be actually doing babies. Yeah, she's doing babies. We're actually going to move this way because I don't really want to fight the babies as well. She's probably going to... Yeah, she's coming. She's going to move. Going to jump in. One. Two. Three. Alright, she's going to jump back now. When she does the stompy stuff, she always finishes it with like a jump back. So she does three stomps. So we've got three hits there, that's not too bad. Bad luck. Might be alright though. Oh, okay. She's got to jump at me to get hit by that. Ah, that's unlucky. Alright, we're going to burn her again. Oh, yeah, we actually want to do that. Rude. No, Megan, don't do it. Alright, we need to find the spear now. There it is. Just gonna keep moving, so also I need to wait for my health to go back up. We'll hit this. That's good. Alright. That's not good. Alright. Alright. 
come, Megan. So we really want to. Oh, my oh, babies! I forgot about you. Jump. Really? All right. Now it's getting quite bad. I have no stamina. So. Okay. Oh, Mega, you suck. So I need to bait her away from my spear now. You gonna jump at me? Yep. So it's really just practice with what animation she's going for. Alright, she's gonna jump at me. Oh my god. I don't really want to throw it there, do I? I'm getting a bit trapped there. There you go. Not bad. It was messy at times, but it worked. So, the best strat is obviously if you're a multiplayer, you can just absolutely hammer her with spears. And you have the fact that you can get picked up by your teammate, which is nice. Um, single player, bow and arrow is probably safer. The thing I should have done was you can collect more coins earlier on and collect more sodas and have 10 sodas. So I think the problem there was the fact that I was running out of sodas. So I'm actually going to go this way. I think there's more coins as well. I'll show you where they are actually. There's coins on this chair which I just make of... You could have done this before we started. That chair... Where is it to? Over there has coins on. I'm actually not going to go in there because these guys have probably beat me up. Take a drink. That's lovely. Right. Cool, now we got Megan, we can bring her back and chuck her in here. And it'll say that she's she's dead. She needs to be someone who's alive. There you go. But luckily she was somehow holding the yellow key card on her at the same time, so I'm gonna grab that off her. I'm gonna beep it on her. Beep. Okay, and in we go, in we go, in we go. And we can head this way. And we are now got one more swimming section. The last point you can die is here really. If you die anywhere else it's pretty must be pretty I don't know how you would, I guess, full damage somewhere, but... Okay, so, swimming section. Difficult to win when you don't have the rebreather, when you're playing on, like, creative mode. Um, but if you have the rebreather, it's pretty simple, because it's... Once you get down past this part, you can see the light. Sorry, there is a bit of background noise. The girlfriend's in the kitchen. I imagine. Okay. And up we go. We can jump up here. And all those skulls we collected there we can use here, all the big rocks, but there is some here if you don't have any, which is fine. Okay, so we need to head around the outside of the artifact site. Oh, that's a shame. We nearly could have got to uh, 30 minutes, but it's fine. So, grabbing those extra sodas would have been way well worth it, because we've got a lot of walking to do here. But, yeah, I needed the coins. So, we head through here. We're going to head up to this entrance here. So a good thing to do is when you're entering a cutscene like this, a loading screen, you can actually unclick shift. You see at the bottom right, my stamina bar is fi fi uh, filling up while it loads. So that's pretty useful. So if you ensure that whenever you do a cutscene like that, you can uh, make sure you're not sprinting when you hit, the hit E and your stam will refill while it's loading. 
So what I can do here is if you had money you could buy another um, soda. Because probably one soda would be nice just to get through this last section. Some boxes here. I don't know what's in them. Don't know. Can't hit it. I think it's flares. Or they might be empty. I can't remember. Okay, anyway. In down here. Elevator time. Nothing to do now. We, we've beat the game in 30 odd minutes. It's going to be like 31 and a bit. Okay, sometimes that button's a little bit funny. You need to go to the back of the elevator before you click here. And now we just chill. There's nothing really more that I can do. I can... I could try and clip through and glitch like that, but we're not doing that in this run. And we can just wait for the elevator. Um, yeah, so I've sort of done this because I get a lot of chat on my... I did a tutorial the same on how to beat the forest quick, which included all the glitches and the fastest route for the creative route. Obviously now I'm doing the glitchless route, which a lot of people said, you know, is it really beating the game if you um, glitch? My answer is yes, being a speedrunner, but some of people don't see it like this. So this is the glitchless route. And it takes around 30 minutes. Um, and that's the end. I can stop timer. It's 31. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's the glitchless route. You can easily do it in 21 minutes. I lost a lot of time. You can grab more soda. You can... Um, yeah, there's a lot of improvements going to be done in that. But, if you just want a base route, that's how you can do it with safety strats in most positions. So, cool.